Ah, uh, why, hello, just wanted to do a quick sneak attack. <laughs> um, I just did a photo shoot, as you can see from the title. With my brother. And now I'm going to edit the pictures and send them to myself. Oh wait, I can't because I'm using my phone, so I will do that later. Hello, hello. Love the lipstick, thanks. Hi Lisa, hi. Hi, 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 happy birthday. Nice, hi Taylor, how are you? I am doing really well. I got so much done today. I'm so glad. Like, I was so productive. I didn't procrastinate like this freaking weekend. I got right to my work. I did a ton. I wrote a whole medley. I can't tell you, tell you about things, so I'll see a surprise. And I filmed a video and I did a photo shoot. Where's your frozen cup? It's in the kitchen. Which one? Because I have many. Cool lips. Thanks. Is that a pun, like, cool, because they're blue, like, cold? <laughs> Makeup on point. Thanks! I filmed a tutorial on it, so you can watch it. <laughs> the spam is real. Yep, it is. Oh, my gosh, look at all those hearts. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Your lipstick is goals. Thanks! I just filmed a tutorial on it before I did my photo shoot. <laughs> that lipstick is popping. Oh, my gosh! Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to like set this down and email myself. Something about you. I just wrote a college essay. Yay! Go us for getting work done. Hey. Someone said hair on point. I feel like that's ironic, but like thank you because it's like four days unwashed now, but like it's got some, you know, some body. So I'm not really mad. <laughs> You lost the connection. No! Cybelle! <laughs> Say my name, girl. Um, Andrea Aza Aza. Is it nasty to have oil, oily hair? I'm so used to it. I actually like embrace it and I love it now. Like, I'm a person where. I'm a person? No. Um, wait, oh, that's better. Um, if something is good for me, I enjoy doing it. Like, whether or not. Ouch. It actually like tastes good or feels good or whatever. Like if I if I know a food is good for me, then I I'm going to enjoy eating it. If I know that water is good for me, I'm going to enjoy drinking it. If I know that having oil, oily hair is going to make it healthier, then like I enjoy having healthy hair. I mean oil well healthy hair and oily hair. So yeah, it's two a.m. in France. Bonjour. You talked about me on your Snapchat story yesterday about the boy thing at the movie theaters. Yeah, I appreciate that question because it helped me um <coughs> launch into an explanation that I wanted to explain. Do you prefer doing live on Facebook or Periscope? I like both. They're different. You know, every Wednesday I'm on Facebook. <laughs> the rest of the days I'm on here. Hello from Louisville, Kentucky. That is not far from me. What's up? What you do a photo shoot for? Just for fun. Want to get dressed. How much water do you drink a day? Not enough. I'm like dehydrated right now, so I'm trying to catch up. I love this lipstick, but most of the time when I wear it, I'm like, dang it, I did my makeup wrong, and I don't like how it turned out. I feel insecure, but today I did it right, and I love it. <laughs> you bought a heater today. I'm proud of you. Did you eat pesto pasta today? <gasps> Not yet. I will. <laughs> Literally watching the voice and you. That's tricky. I'm the Navy Blue Hearts. Thank you for the Navy Blue Hearts. They match my lips. I have to do homework. Bye. Oh my gosh. Bye. Have fun. All right. I'm going to email myself. Oh my gosh. I just sneezed and now I'm all congested. Clicking the heart so fast. Guys, thank you. That's really nice. Say hello to Francisca. What's up? You have a lot of energy. Yes, I do. I couldn't really tell you why. My theory is because I don't do drugs or drink alcohol and I don't, I can't even have caffeine. So I'm like completely not reliant I hate being sniffly I'm completely not reliant unreliant on stimulants or anything so I'm used to just like I don't know and I don't eat a lot of processed food so I'm not like bogged down all the time say no to drugs amen sing defy gravity later okay let me email myself first because I keep getting off track ah okay which one is it uh not that, oh my gosh, why do we have so many 
what the frick? Why? Wait, oh, I think I just found it. Uh, C, C, O, L. Where is it? Frick. Uh, that's really disappointing. I'm trying to find our um, nonstop with the hearts. Oh my gosh, guys. So nice. <laughs> so nice. I really appreciate it. No, I'm serious. Thank you. Um, How do I search on here? Wait. Ugh. Cold water. Um, film version? That's probably not what I want. Holy cow! Why do we have so many mixes of this? I'm gonna blow a garrison. No, I'm just kidding. You're blue today. Oh, like my lips. <laughs> why don't your other sisters live stream? I don't know. I don't think it's like this common thing that everyone does. Like, I don't know why I started thinking of doing it, but... Oh yeah, because one day I was wanting to do a Facebook Live, but it wasn't my Facebook day. Because I like live streaming. I think it's really fun. And I love when we have our, like, Facebook days and we each go live on Facebook because we've been doing that, like, all summer. But then one day I was like, oh, I really want to do a Facebook Live. And I did. And then everyone got mad. Or Danny got mad at me because it was, like, her day and I did it on her day. And I was like, dang it. I was like, okay, I'll just go on Periscope because that's, like, an easy live streaming thing. And then I don't have to have, like, a day for it. No one will get mad at me. Thanks. I love your live streams. Thank you. Why do you have to email yourself? Um, I'm sending a song to myself to upload to a certain musical platform. Something about you. What is on the map? What's this? Why is this five minutes long? That's an instrumental. Wow! Okay, is this it? No, I know that I mixed this. What's wrong with me? Okay. What would I call it? What would I have named it? Cold water logic? Arrangement? Oh my gosh, I had to burp, but I did not. Those lips slay. Thank you. Those blue lips, girl. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I went out in Nashville on New Year's with black lipstick, but it was actually like eyeliner, but I just, or it was partially lipstick, partially eyeliner. And the looks that I got, it was like, I knew it was going to be like, people were going to be weirded out, but I didn't know how much like certain people will react like people are so offended some people are like oh cool and some people are like hmm and some people are like <sighs> they're like shocked like i didn't think it was that you know meaningful <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i am from nashville hey do you uh no i don't recommend it hi michaela Sing Lana Del Rey. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, well, my boyfriend's in a band. He plays guitar while I sing Lou Reed. I got feathers in my hair. I get down to be the laundry. And my jazz collection's red. I can play most anything, cause I'm a Brooklyn baby. Um, what would it be called? And if you feel your... Oh, frick. I deleted it. Arr! Do you feel cold? Do you prefer cold water or let me love you? Cold water, definitely. But I do love let me love you. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Where would it be? Where, 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 where? I really want to find this. I just want to find it. <laughs> Least favorite Justin Bieber song? I don't know. He has so many songs. Like, think about it. Think of how many albums he's released. How are you supposed to pick a least favorite? I can't even pick a favorite. <sighs> Your hearts are yellow. I love them. It's still just the same. <laughs> Brazil loves you. Come back soon. Oh my gosh. I would love to. Do you have a favorite musical? Oh gosh. Probably. Uh, uh, I really love um, the faces you make when you're mad. LOL. Thanks. I really love 
Starmite's the musical and Seuss Gold musical. Oh my, I love your lipstick. Guys, thank you. Don't come back soon, I don't have money. <laughs> Wicked is the correct answer. Here's the problem, I've never seen it. I know like the entire soundtrack by heart because I've listened to it so many times and I kind of know the story, but like I've never seen Wicked. I actually, I don't think I've ever seen a Broadway show in general, but like, you know, they don't do it in like non-Broadway productions. So, I haven't seen Wicked. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I need, I need to. I'm proud you guys are posting YouTube videos regularly. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Favorite Five Sauce song? Wrapped Around Your Finger. Oh! Every time I see them in concert, which is multiple times now. <laughs> Real fan. No, I'm just kidding. But I freaking love them. Every time I see them in concert and they do um, Wrapped Around Your Finger, I'm like... <sighs> I lose my mind oh my gosh it's so good how do you want me to stop sharing your pics if you don't stop doing photo shoots explain to me um i don't know just don't <laughs> broadway plays go on tour babe i know but like i don't know aren't they expensive i've never even looked into it to be honest I'm like oh i don't want to spend that kind of money i don't even know how much it costs <laughs> Will you periscope on tour? Oh, probably not. Okay, wait, no. If there was like really good hotel Wi-Fi, then I would. But usually hotel Wi-Fi sucks. Like you couldn't live stream on it. It takes forever to even like load a Snapchat. So it would be hard. Your finger is hurt from tapping on the screen. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, guys. Um, Let me make sure. Frick, am I on the Wi-Fi? I didn't even check before I did this. Hold on. Yes, I am. Hello, can you see me? I've never heard of you. Please explain. Well, I am a girl. My name is Lisa, and um, I'm on Periscope. <laughs> How hard is it dealing with choppy Wi-Fi connection on tour? Um, it sucks. It's really bad. But it's also nice when you're on your phone all the time, and then you get in a spot where you can't be on it because, like, you don't have no you have no service. Um, in other countries, we don't have like a international plan. So, oh, I love. Sure. Sorry, I'm looking at the photo shoot. Oh, maybe I'll show you guys. Um, on the road, we don't have an international plan. So we put our phones on airplane mode, and then whenever we get to hotels, we go on Wi-Fi. So there's, like, periods of time during the day when we just don't have service. It's actually really nice because... Ew, sorry. It's really nice because I get a break from the internet. You know, I love the internet, but it definitely can be too much. Ooh, I'm going to show you guys some pics. Where should we start? And if you feel yours... It's over 100 for good seats on the floor for Wicked and 50 for the top. Actually, I could totally do that if I was, like, dedicated. I would love to see Wicked. All right, I'm going to flip the screen around and there's my photo shoot. But I don't know if you can see it with all, like, the comments. So there you go. Those are in black and white. <laughs> so many pics. What? I'm on Periscope, by the way. What? I'm on. I'm live streaming. I'm showing them uh, the pictures. I want to play on this poker tournament, which you need five thousand dollars to be in. Yeah. So I yeah, started that. with fifty dollars, mm -hmm. and I now have one thousand eight hundred in the account. Oh jeez. And I just added another seventy to oh, it. Oh my in four minutes gosh. And quit. Okay, <laughs> these two are my favorites, definitely. Wait, those ones are sick. So cute. I love these. I don't know which one I'm gonna post. Oh, they're all colored. Did you show the cool black and white? Yeah, I started with that one. I like that one too. Oh, hey, whoever said hi. Mm -hmm. That one's dope. <laughs> I love that one. Me too. That's so cool and like random. Oh, I'm glad you like. Yes, they turn out so good. Oh, I like that one. Okay, yeah. these are definitely uh, my faves though. I... Okay, let me show you. Yes, that one and that one. What? Oh, I'm Someone said I love poker. Tell him good luck. <laughs> Thanks. I need a couple thousand more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. Anyways, and if you win the tournament, they sponsor you for several hundred grand to play. What, mate? How sick would that be? Jeez, Luis. Yeah. So these last ones are definitely my faves. Even that one's kind of cute. Like back on the rooftop. Dee dee. I love that picture. Sorry for yelling. That's cool too. And it's all weird colors. I want to do an H&M style photo shoot with you. Yeah, like modeling clothes. That's funny. 
Yeah, like modeling some sick clothes. Yes, in front, we could do it in front of that garage we just saw. Look, I had headphones on when you yelled. I'm sorry. You should make them all available somewhere. Uh, maybe on Tumblr. Do you, I don't... I don't want to edit all of them. Should I just post the, the plain ones and you guys can do, like, do whatever you want with them? Wow, cool music. Um, <laughs> then I tried it. Love you, banana. <laughs> Are you ever going to let your hair grow again? Um, Eventually, yeah. Right now, I'm having so much fun having short hair. Like, I don't see myself growing it out anytime soon. Yeah, I really need to find this. How am I gonna find it? What did I call it? Did I delete it? Grab, grab, grab. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's not it. That is closer. That is not cold water. <laughs> Oh, wait. Mm, no, I did that from this computer. Miss you, Gumdrop. Oh, hi. Where's the rest of your fam? Um, traveling. Well, some of them are traveling. Some of them are at my parents' house. One of them is standing right next to me. Hello, Smurf lips. Lol. What? Oh, that's cool. Michael wants to do a photo shoot like this, which we totally could because there's so many, like, white bricks around here. Yes. I'm down. You have to put all the pics. I don't know where really to put them. Really close one too. Super oh, yeah. bright. Close ups, like if you can wait, like that. That's cool. I like close up pics. I go to sleep, beautiful Jetame. Jetame. How do you oh, say also in like French? This, except you have shorter hair. Uh, my hair shorter than yours. Who's stunting now? I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, I hate myself. No, I'm just kidding. Put them on Tumblr. Okay, maybe I will. Do you want me to put them, like, unedited with, like, weird color and you can just edit them yourselves? <laughs> blue hearts for blue lips. Hey! <laughs> all the pics! All the pics! <laughs> okay, I'm going to post mine first. I'm going to put one on Instagram and then I will post them. You know, so I can do, like, the big unveiling. <laughs> Bobbity bop bop. Okay. Um, what was my to-do list? I can't remember. I have to record. I have to edit a video. I have to email the pictures. I have to upload the song. Who took those pictures? My brother took the pictures. He was just in here. We just did a sibling photo shoot. Spamming you with purple hearts. Guys, stop. You're too kind. You're too kind. All you need is blue hair. Hmm. Actually, if my hair was like this color, yeah, I would actually freaking love that. But I feel like it would be so hard to maintain. I've kept my nail polish on for three days. Are you proud? Um, I would hope that you could keep it on for three days, but I am proud of you. What's your ethnicity? I'm white European. I'm mostly Italian, Irish, German, uh, Norwegian. And then I have French, Scottish, a little bit of English or something. Welsh. Is Welsh English? I don't know. It's probably not, right? Yeah, it's not. Um, er, yeah, I don't really know what else. I just found out recently that I'm part French. I always said, like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, everything European except for blah, blah, blah and French. And then I was, like, I found out that I am French. And I was, like, oh, my gosh, what? No way. I think we're a little bit, wait, we're not Scottish. Scotch, Irish? What's that mean? What's that mean? I have a Spanish test tomorrow. Pray for me. Oh, I wish I could say something in Spanish, like, good luck, but I don't know how to say that. Eat any pasta lately? Always. Something for you! Feel like a dangerous woman! Something about something for you! Wanna do things and I shouldn't. Something, there's Charles. Something about you! Sing Demi Lovato. Give me a song. Literally, I have to make up 16 English lessons tonight. Oh my gosh. Go get to work. Do not procrastinate. Procrastinating is the worst. Ruins my life every day. Those hoops, though. Ever since I cut my hair, I just can't stop wearing them. I feel like such a woman. <laughs> 
Stone Cold. I always forget how that one goes. Uh, uh, what's the second verse? I don't know this song. I'm going to shut the door because I don't really want to hear it. <gasps> something about, something about, something about you. I just want to be like that. Sing Defying Gravity. <laughs> I do this one every time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, look at that. I smash it down, right? Like, oh, so flat. Poof! I've never, I've never ever had this much like <laughs> volume in my hair when it was long and never like stood up like this. So it's kind of an adjustment. Okay. Um. What'd she say? I hope you're happy now that you're choosing this. You too. I hope it brings you bliss. I really hope you get it and you don't live to regret it. I hope you're happy in the end. I hope you're happy, my friend. Dun, 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 dun. Someone told me lately, why do I keep doing this? Everyone deserves a chance to fly. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. <laughs> to those who ground me, take a message back from me. Tell them how I am defying gravity. I'm flying high defying gravity and soon I'll match them in renown and nobody in all of us no wizard that there is or was is ever gonna bring me down bring me so we've got to bring her home. Down. <laughs> you had an interview when you were in interview when you were in Portugal with a hot guy. What are you talking about, Portugal? Oh my gosh, I was thinking of Argentina um, at the Coca Cola station. Ah! I was, I could not focus. It's okay though. Do you have veneers or are those your natural teeth? These are my natural teeth. I got braces and I was very good about wearing my rubber bands all the time. And then I bleach my teeth every year and keep them white. And I wear my retainer almost every night. And, um, yeah. And then when I got my braces off, they like, you know, like sand the bottom down. It hurt really bad. It was so uncomfortable. But now I'm really glad that they did because I don't have the little grooves anymore. So, yeah. These are my real teeth. I hated rubber bands. I love them. Like I said, if it's good for me, if I know I'm going to benefit from it, I'm going to enjoy doing it. So, I was like, yeah, I'll wear my rubber bands. I would wear two pairs on each side during the day and then three at night. I was not playing with my teeth. <laughs> oh! I love the pics behind you. Thanks. What about the hot guys in Montreal? I would love to go there. Mm -hmm. I had a dream we met again. It felt so real. One day it will be real. Wait, someone had a really good song request earlier and now I can't remember. You didn't tell me how you met them. VidCon? <laughs> ah, that's all I'm gonna say. Did it hurt to get your cartilage pierced? Yes. He's like, 
take a deep breath. He's like, breathe in. And I'm like, and he's like, okay, now breathe out. As soon as I went, then he's like, and put it through my ear. And I was like, ah! it was really painful. But then I was glad that I got it. You finished Stranger Things. Proud of you. Something about you. I just want to be like that. My hand is dead from all the hearts I'm spamming. Guys, thank you. That's cute. Something about, something about. <laughs> Do you like living in Nashville? I freaking love it. I love it. Someone said hello by Adele. Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. But it don't matter, it clearly doesn't tear you apart anymore. I am pumping hearts. <laughs> Vain! I know. Even when I talk, it comes out. I don't know. Do you have ADD? Or are you just naturally hyper? Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I do not have ADD. I just have a lot of energy because I don't do drugs. Ha 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 
did not notice him then, but because he, he had freaking long hair and he was a hobbit. <laughs> Lauren says she wants to watch R5 again. Do you too? Yeah, I do. <laughs> What's the hobbit? It's like Lord of the Rings. He's dressed up like an elf, and he has freaking long hair and this weird fake nose and, like, an outfit. Like, of course, I didn't notice him then. Then I saw him in regular life, and I was like, yeah. I need to calm down and stop talking about this subject right now. Okay. <laughs> Drag me. Hair goals. Thanks, guys. Oh, my gosh. If I flip it that way. <gasps> Woo! I wish it was full of gel and I could do this business. What if I had a mohawk? Oh, it won't stay. Something about you! The sheriff from Stranger Things is my hero. I love him. He's awesome. Hot dang, he is awesome. <laughs> Are you talking about Luke Evans? <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta look him up with short hair, okay? Not the Hobbit. Okay, you gotta do Luke Evans, short hair. You are bae. OMG. Thanks, guys. Sing Here We Go Again. Oh, my gosh. All right. It's been a minute. Um, How did you get here under my skin? Swore that I'd never let you back in. Should have known better than trying to let you go. Because here we go. Go. Go again. Hard as I try. I know I can't quit. Something about you is so addictive. They're falling together. You think that by now I know. Cause here we go, go, go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. Someone just said sing only girl in the world. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Like I'm the only one that you'll ever love. Like I'm the only one who knows your heart. Only girl in the world. Like I'm the only one that's in command. Cause I'm the only one who understands. Ain't that the truth? How to make you feel like a man. Yeah. Voice for days. <laughs> Hillary the Fisherman. I already sang that song. <laughs> Single and not ready to mingle. Lisa Simarelli. Hey, true. No, I'm ready to mingle. I'm just not ready to mingle with idiots. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm not ready to mingle with people who are freaking 12 years old in their brain and act like they're in seventh grade. Grow up, grow up, mature a little bit, move on from middle school. You're 27 years old and you're 34. What are you doing? Anyway. Hi, Kenzie and Maddie. What's up? You cannot date an infant or a fetus. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> How do I tell my BFF her boyfriend is an idiot? Don't. Because she's not going to believe it if she's dating him. And then you're just going to push her away. Like she's just going to get mad at you. You could gently say like, oh, I don't think he is good. And then, you know, gently say it and then move on. Just be nice to her and be there for her. So then if they break up, then you, she will want to talk to you again. If you're mean and they break up, she's not going to want to talk to you because be, she'll be like, she thinks you'll be like, I told you so. You don't want that. OMG, I am done. Who them, dummy? <laughs> yeah. Sign up for Christian Mingle. No! I hate internet dating. I hate it. <laughs> yes, true. Sing Move On. Which one? What happens if your friend gets a boyfriend but then avoids you? Some people are weird in relationships. They can't, like, they can't, like, hang out with their friends, too. You just gotta hang out with other people, and then if they get single again, then you can hang out with them again. But, you know, I literally have some friends where they, I can only hang out with them when they're not in relationships because they're just too busy when they are taken. How did you get here under my skin? Swore that I'd never let you back in. Learn to 
some Arabic. Um, yalla, yalla, habibi. That's all I know. <laughs> Aren't you scared to walk in your, the middle of the night by yourself? Um, the movie theater parking lot is really well lit, but it is kind of not very safe. So, well, it's not like the most safe thing in the world for me to go to the movies at midnight by myself. Like, it's probably kind of irresponsible now that I'm thinking about it. OMG, your hair is gone. Yes, it is. And I'm so happy about it. I couldn't be happier with my new hair. <laughs> what do you do when you like a guy but his grammar sucks? Get over it. Do you know what matters in a relationship? Let me tell you. Not grammar. That's what. <laughs> No, that probably kind of sound, kind of sounded harsh, but um, it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, what's more important that he knows the difference between like y o u apostrophe r e and y o u r, or that he is respectful, loyal, kind, loving, and nice to you? Would you rather have some snob who's constantly correcting you about scientific things and technical things? Or would you rather have some nice person who maybe can't spell everything, but makes you feel good about yourself and supports you and is a kind person? Yeah. Who cares about grammar? I really wish everyone would stop caring about that. Like, I happen to be really good with grammar, but... Who cares? Like, why is it such a big deal? Are you insecure about your intelligence? So you're trying to, like, prove something by, like, being better than everyone with, like, perfect words. And you have to, like, make sure your image is right. So, like, you have to be with someone who has perfect grammar. It's so weird to me. I'm sorry to be rude about this. It's so weird to me, though. It freaks me out. Like, no, I'm not roasting her. I'm not roasting her. I'm roasting everyone who cares about that because I don't understand. I don't understand. I under I understand if you're reading something and you're just like generally bothered, like, oh, that's wrong. But why do you why do you judge people off of that? It's so weird. Like there's all these movements about like stop judging people and putting them in boxes for like I don't know, the way that they look or the way that they act or what they believe, but why aren't we stopping the judgment about people who know how to spell or don't know how to spell? Why is that a thing? Also, is this fr is this freezing? Because I feel like it's freezing. Yeah. Get the guy a dictionary? Um, when was the last time you learned dictionary from reading... You learned grammar from reading a dictionary because I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, that's more of like a vocabulary situation, like learning the meanings of words, not necessarily the spellings. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Do you believe nobody's perfect or everyone's perfect the way you are? Yeah, both of those are true. Is this working? Someone tell me if it's freezing or if that's just my phone. Why does Periscope always goof in the middle? I'm really ticked off. My phone is like coming in spurts. It's not really loading very well. It's working. It's not freezing. What the F? What the frickin' frick? Yes, it's freezing. It's not freezing. It's working. What the frick? What the frick? What the fish? What the flip? It's working. It's not freezing. It's literally going so choppy for me. Like the comments are just sitting there and then they just load. And I'm like, whoa. Sync should have been us. Hold on, I have to know if this is working first. <laughs> it's fine. It's working. All right, cool. Um, Walking around with my head down, but I, I just go right into it. Walking around with my head down, but I can't hide with these high heels on. Uh-uh. Downtown in a thick crowd, but it's just you that my mind is on. Dressed up, got my heart messed up. You got yours and I got mine. It's unfair that I still care. And I wonder where you are tonight. Thinking it could be different. But maybe we missed it. Thinking it could be different. It could. It could. It should have been us. Should have been a fire. Should have been the perfect storm. It should have been us. Could have been the real thing. Now I'll never know for sure. Ooh. We were crazy. But amazing. Baby, we both know. 
Oh, it should have been nice. Us. It should have been nice. And now I'm out of water. Are you going to watch Haters Back Off? Heck yeah. Is there anything else I'm going to watch? No. I'm so excited. When does it come out, by the way? I wish this would load faster. <laughs> no hair to mess up. I know. <laughs> Miranda Sings is the love of my life. Honestly, she's kind of my queen. NGL, not going to lie. Thinking it could be different. But maybe we missed it, thinking it could be different. It could, it could. It should have been nice. Should have been a fire, should have been a perfect storm. It should have been nice. Could have been a real thing, now I never know for sure. Ooh, we were crazy, but amazing. Baby, we both know it should have been nice. Us, it, it. It should have been a... Uh, Sorry, I love that song. How do you deal with anxiety and depression? I don't feel qualified to talk on that subject. I feel like people are really touchy about that. I deal with my emotions by journaling and writing down how I feel, and that always helps a lot. So I could recommend journaling to help you, but I can't really, like, give you a solution. But journaling is a big help. Try it. I imagine you with curly blonde hair when you sing that. <laughs> I always wanted blonde hair. Not like I didn't like my brown hair, but like I always wanted to have blonde hair for a phase of my life. But then I realized how bad for your hair that is. And I'm like, nah, I'm not bleaching it. I'm not doing that. Oh, 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 oh. Thinking it could be different. Can you say hi to Caitlin? Hey. You should have kept your long hair. <gasps> no, I shouldn't have. Whoa, I can't imagine that. What if you really like a guy, but you don't want to hang out with them? What does that mean? <laughs> I feel like if I like a... Charles! I feel like if I like a guy, I only want to hang out with him. Are you, like, scared to hang out with him? You scared to get in trouble? Scared to get caught? Scared something's gonna happen? Scared he's not gonna like you? Like, fill me in. Can you fill me in? Woo. Charles Cimarelli, what are you doing? Psst, 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 psst. Charles. Should have been nice. My crush is intimidating. Why? Uh, I hate that. Get your confidence up. Get your confidence up. You can do it. Jade the Montre Baller is here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Montre Bowling. <laughs> do you get offended if your friends ship you with a dude that you don't like? Um, no. I'm just like, what? Why? Okay, if I specifically like do not like him at all, then I'd be like, no, stop. Like someone rude. But if I don't have a problem with them, I'm just like, what? Why? Why do you think that? What? <laughs> Are your earrings heavy? Nope. <laughs> Should have been nice. Should have been a fire. Should have been a perfect storm. Should have been nice. Could have been a real thing. No one ever know for sure. Ooh, we were crazy. But amazing, baby, we both know we should have been us. It should have been us. Where's your second piercing? Hey! I love it so much. Makes me happy. Say Ravina. Ravina! Charles. boo Who's that? I don't know who that is, but thank you for shipping me with them. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but you love me. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful teeth. Thank you. How does it feel? I don't know what you mean. Should have been us. When's the al next album dropping? Sooner than you think. Charles. 
I'm rolling. Congrats. I ship you with me. It's pretty cool. I'm locked out of my house. Wow, that sucks. Sing a camp rock song. I'm trying to think of one. Cause we rock. We rock. We rock on every day. Every night. We rock. We rock. We rock. <laughs> hidden talents. This is not a very hidden talent, but I can do this. Can you sing Skyscraper by Demi? You can take everything I have. You can break everything I am. Like I'm made of glass. Oh, like I'm made of... Let's go back. <laughs> paper. Oh, go on and try. I'm so tired, guys. I went to bed at 4 a.m. and it's definitely hitting me. Oh my gosh. Ah. Slay. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, guys. It should have been a Should have been a perfect storm. Eh, wrong. Moving on. Ha ha ha. If this song's on the radio, somebody's gonna die. I'm gonna get in trouble. My ex will start a fight. Na 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 na. He's gonna start a fight. Na 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 na. We're all gonna get in a fight though. So what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves, and I don't need you. And guess what? I'm having more fun. And now that we're done, I'm gonna show you tonight. I'm alright. I'm just fine. And you're a tool, so, so what? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock moves. And I don't, I don't want you tonight. Woo! Ba da 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 da. Advice for someone who gets fun of being who gets made fun of for being homeschooled. Um, being homeschooled is a great, valuable asset to your life, and if someone's making fun of you for something that's going to get you ahead in life potentially and benefit you, then they are the ones that look stupid. You know what I mean? No offense. <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> your Ferrari's so lame. Like. You look dumb for making fun of someone for having a Ferrari. Like, if you have a Ferrari, you look dumb for making fun of someone that has a Ferrari. If you don't have a Ferrari, you look dumb for making some fun of someone who has a Ferrari. Like, you look dumb either way. You know what I mean? So, um, just realize that it's a great thing and it's a good thing that you're being homeschooled and it doesn't really matter if people like it or not. Like, there's so many things that you can do in your life that people are going to make fun of you for and you just need to do them. Like, who cares if they don't like it? Who cares? What authority do they have? You know what I mean? What does it matter what they think? ba da 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 Lizzie McGuire guys I just want you to know your comments are coming in like four at a time and they sit there for like 20 seconds and then like 40 comments load and then they disappear so I'm missing a lot of them right now which is super irritating who are you I am a did you like homeschooling or normal school homeschooling once I went to college and realized that people don't do the reading and study for tests and cram the night before 
and have awful studying habits for the most part. Like some people are good at it, but a lot of people aren't. And I just sunk to the level of all of them instead of staying on my good homeschooling habits of actually doing the work. And I was so ticked. You know, I started with like a 3.8 GPA, which was good, whatever. I'm not some overachiever, but like it was good. And then by the time I graduated, I had a, I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I had a 3.2 also, though, because I missed, like, half the semester going to L.A. when we were meeting with record labels, so that kind of took a toll on my GPA. But still, I wish I would have never been tainted by those public schoolers. I wish I would have just done the reading and studied for my test. And <clears throat> here's the thing. I started doing that normal method or whatever of, like, cramming for tests the night before and then go in and just dump your brain on a piece of paper and then forget it all. I didn't learn, like, anything. Like... After each class, there's, like, three things I can tell you from each class. Like, neurons and axioms and and uh, myelin sheath. And there's a sheep brain and there's an optic nerve. Like, I'm just literally reciting words that come to mind from my biological psychology class. But there's so many things that I did not learn because I just crammed it all in my brain for, like, short term and then dis- dispensed of it, you know? It's not a good system. I'm so worked up right now. Anyway, I need to chill. I need to chill. Say my name with a high note. Cybell! Yeah. Don't judge all college kids. I know. Not all college kids do that. I'm talking about the majority of, like, schoolers in general, you know, that just cram, 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 and, like, take a test or whatever, and then forget it all. That's what I did when I went there, and it sucked, because I did get, like, decent grades, but then... I didn't learn very much, except in Spanish. I got that pretty well. But I want a boyfriend. What do I do? Nothing. You don't do anything. You either It either happens or it doesn't. That's what I've learned. Um, this is what I've learned. <laughs> Relationships and careers are, like, opposite. In your career, you need to, like, hunt things down. You need to be persistent. You need to be annoying. You need to push, push, push. You need to not stop until things happen. You need to be, like, really aggressive. And you need to, like, be assertive and, like, you know, you have to be really pushy and, like, get what you want. In relationships, you need to chill out. You need to not pursue it. You need to, like, not focus on dating all the time or even, like, think about it at all. You need to just, like, not worry about it at all and and live your life. Like, the opposite of a career. Like, if you want a career and you're not thinking about it, like, you're not going to get it. In a relationship, you need to stop thinking about it. You need to just not worry if you're single or not. Like, you just need to chill and live. And then it will happen at the right time. Like, all these guys came into my life not at the same time. But, like, once I stopped worrying about it all the time, literally when I was, like, 18, 19, 20, I was just like... (sighs) Oh my gosh, I'm so single. I'm never going to date anyone. I'm so lonely. I'm totally hating on my old self. But like, I was so desperate. And guess what? No one wanted to date me. And then when I stopped worrying about it and actually just had fun with my friends, like I was, I, I was really isolated emotionally and I was just trying to put all the pressure of my happiness on a relationship. And then once I started actually connecting with my friends and my family, I was like, you know what? I don't need to be in a relationship. Like I'm happy connecting with the people around me and this is good enough for me. And then out of the woodwork, multiple guys were like, oh my gosh, I want to date you. And that happened. So yeah. When you date, will you leave the band? (laughs) That's really funny. No, I'm not going to leave the band if I start dating. I already started dating and I'm in the band. Yeah, but I'm not dating anyone right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's just what I think. I think people who are obsessed with how they're not in a relationship are emotionally isolated and they're trying to fill a void that needs to be filled by human connection in general. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm so dehydrated, I need orange juice. Like, you also need to drink, like, water and coconut water and, like, other kinds of juice. Like, don't only drink orange juice. That's not going to satisfy you. Like, you need you need other liquids to stay hydrated. So if you get all of your liquids, then, you know, you'll find the right thing of orange juice. But you can't only depend on orange juice for your hydration. You know what I mean? Like, you can't only depend on a romantic relationship to fulfill all of your human connection and relational needs. You need to you need to talk to your friends about how you're feeling in general, aside from being lonely. You need to hang out with your family. You need to tell people how you feel. You need to talk to people when you're sad. 
You need to connect with people and then you're going to stop being so lonely and then you're going to have a better vibe and then you're going to be a more appealing person and then people are going to want to date you when you ironically stop worrying about dating. That is the blunt truth. <laughs> I love your analogies. Thanks. I'm scared of being weak. Guys, it's okay. Okay, don't think of it as being weak. Think of it as a vulnerability, okay? Vulnerability is the basis of human connection. Like, you cannot connect with people if you're not being vulnerable. You need to be vulnerable, okay? Like, if you see that someone else is not perfect, it makes you love them more. When you have, like, a friend and you see something about them, like, it might freak you out at first or whatever, but you're going to realize, like, oh, they're not perfect. And it's like, because you're going to realize they're not perfect, just like me. I'm not perfect. And then you're like, oh, my gosh, we relate to each other. All of a sudden, they're not this perfect thing. It's like this real human that you connect with and identify with, and then you can actually be close. You can't be close to someone you haven't, like, seen any of their flaws. If you think someone's perfect, you're never going to be close with them. Once you actually see the real them, which is not perfect, then you're going to be close. So it's important to be vulnerable and show your flaws and show your weaknesses and connect with the people around you. Do not pretend to be perfect. Do not pretend like you have no feelings because then you're not going to connect with anyone. And then you're going to be even more lonely and weak. ba da 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 What if this song's on the radio? Somebody's gonna die. <laughs> Y'all, the comments are frozen. And I'm really tired. Why did I go to bed so late? Why did I go to bed so late? Somebody's gonna die. <laughs> I just want this to work. I just want it to work. Oh, there we go. Boobity doo 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 doo, beebity dee doo dee. Okay, I gotta go in a minute because this is not working. Like, it's probably still broadcasting, but like the comments are just not loading. It's really messing with me. <laughs> I just want to read the comments. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to chill. Juice stories are the best. Thanks. <laughs> Date me as a friend. <laughs> You guys are funny. What if this song's on the radio? Somebody's gonna die. You're going to be a great mom. Thank you. Someone called my laugh ugly. Ha ha. Honestly, who cares what anyone thinks of your laugh? It's such a basic human function. Like, laughter? If someone's making fun of your laugh, like, no offense, but they look kind of dumb. Like, why do you care? What is your problem? <laughs> It's really weird, guys. It's really weird. I'm being really harsh tonight, and I'm sorry. This is the way my brain works. Sometimes I'm the most accepting person in the world, though, but other times I'm really critical. But I'm also just trying to find the truth in this world. <laughs> and it doesn't always work, but I still try. What if this song's on the radio? Somebody's gonna die. Okay, I'm waiting for these comments to load. Once they load, I'm going to get off of here and go do my work. Somebody's gonna die. I just wanted to load. Let me try it again. Let me try it again.